Ag Weather Watch on KX is sponsored by United Agronomy. Hey everyone, Chief Meteorologist Kenny Miller here. Going to do a, uh, a quick update on our Ag Watch here, sort of an abbreviated version compared to what we normally do. Just wanted to update some things with our weekly wheat update, our weekly corn update, and just show some concerns that we've seen over the last week or so. So starting off here with our weekly wheat update, uh, the U.S. spring wheat crop is 18% headed out at this point, 11% here in North Dakota. Overall, it's pretty close to the five-year average. We have seen some continued heavy rain, uh, particularly in our central locations over the past week or so, and it's kind of been that way really since the beginning of May, which has maintained that persistent disease pressure, main, or mostly in our central locations. Nothing terribly widespread or overall concerning, uh, but going back to about a month or so ago, we were so well ahead of our five-year average in terms of crop quality, uh, soil quality, uh, overall yield projections, and we're at about average now. So that just shows you how it kind of dropped off over the last month or so. Um, in terms of the overall crop condition rating, we've gone from 76% uh, good last week down to uh, 71% this week. So overall, we're still in pretty decent shape. And again, we're at that five-year average, comparatively speaking. We've just gone downhill really over the last month to a month and a half. Looking at our weekly corn update here for us right now, this is the most concerning crop, in my opinion, here for us across the state. We've seen a near 10% drop in our condition rating just over the past week. So 10% in one week is not great. About two, three, four weeks ago, we were at about 75, 80% in the good to excellent condition. We're at about 60% now. So we've continued to steadily drop off over the past week or so. We're still only at 86% planted. It was a lot higher a few weeks ago. So that just shows you how much of our crop is still being replanted due to those wetness concerns, the persistent flooding, and just overall killing the crop. Some of the cool nights the last couple of weeks. So definitely some issues there with the corn crop. Overall, our acreage across our state is down 3% uh, compared to last year. And while that may not be that large of a number, it's still noticeable. Again, compared to the five-year average, we're a little bit below that trend overall. So still in pretty decent shape, but uh, definitely uh, heading downhill once again here for the corn crop as well. And fortunately, conditions do tend do, do trend drier and warmer as we get further along in the middle stages of July. So that's certainly good news going forward there for our corn crop. Here are those crop condition ratings for our spring wheat, durum, corn, oats, and of course our barley. Uh, the majority of the ratings are still in that good quality range. Uh, but, but again, a month or so ago, all of these crops were between 70 and 80 percent. Now we're dropping off into the low 60s, some of them getting an increase in the fair category, which is still good, you know, but it's not ideal seeing some very poor and pores. And again, the trend just over the last couple of weeks haven't really been it, overall in our favor, particularly in our central location. So hopefully the drier trends, once we get past this week, should help even the playing field, so to speak, a little bit. We will have an updated, you know, full length uh, crop report here for us uh, coming up on Sunday and Monday of next week. So for the KX Storm team for now, I am Chief Meteorologist Kenny Miller. Be sure to tune in again next week. And of course, keep watching for your full forecast. Kenny has that in just a bit.